Okay, hello traders. So today we're back with another lesson about the Forex Economic Calendar. Okay, um, if you do not know what the Forex Economic Calendar is, uh, it's something that you definitely want to pay attention to. Okay, uh, we'll show you how to uh, use it. Uh, we'll also show you how to uh, find it, uh, how, like which website to go to access it. Okay, so let's just jump uh, straight into the video. Okay, so this is the one thing that uh, every trader should be looking at, okay? The Forex Economic Calendar, okay? So, in fact, all professional traders look at this calendar, okay? You, you can try to find me, I don't know, like a professional trader who doesn't know an economic calendar, okay? it doesn't exist, okay? Because all professionals know that uh, the Forex Economic Calendar sets the tone, Okay, it, it affects movement a lot and also it helps you to avoid you know trading into a news event. So for example, if uh, you are a scalper, right? A scalper is someone who goes in quickly and exits quickly, then you want to avoid trading during the news hour because uh the price movement is very fast during the uh during the news release, right? So this is something that uh, all successful professional traders look at, the Forex Economic Calendar. And there's really no reason why you shouldn't be looking at it, okay? Because uh, it's free, okay? And it doesn't take much effort, uh, as we'll show you later, okay? So maybe now let's just go to uh, the calendar. So you can come over to uh, www.forexfactory.com, uh, okay? And then you should see the uh, Forex uh, Calendar over here, okay? So this itself is the Forex calendar and uh, you can see over here that there's a join button over here. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, you want to create an account. Okay? We encourage you to create an account because uh, when you create an account, you'll be able to save your preferences. Okay? Your preferences such as uh, which time zone you are as well as you know um, what kind of uh, news you want to be looking at. Okay, so now we are currently in an incognito v, uh, browser. That means uh, we haven't really saved our preferences. But uh, when you come over to this website, which is forexfactory.com, right, uh, definitely set up an account. Okay, anyway, back to the slides. So what does the Forex Factory Economic Calendar show? Okay, it shows the different news released in different countries. So you have a different countries such as Australia, New Zealand, United States, okay? Uh, it, it breaks down the news according to uh, currencies or countries, okay? Uh, it also provides the time, okay? Maybe you come back over here, you see. Uh, they tell you the currency, okay? CNY is actually, uh, if you're not too sure what CNY is, CNY is actually China. Okay, and uh, currencies that are affected by China are the commodity pairs, which is uh, Aussie, CAD, and uh, New Zealand dollar. Okay, so anyway, back to this. Uh, it shows the currency, okay, and it just shows the date and the time. Okay, this is very important because, uh, for example, uh, we look at Tuesday, we look at the uh, uh, Aussie, okay. Monetary policy meeting minutes is happening at eight thirty, so uh, ideally you won't want to be trading at about eight twenty two, okay? Unless your strategy involves uh trading the news event, but uh for the most part of it, you wouldn't want to enter the trade at like eight twenty eight a.m. right when the market is just about to explode in you know either direction, okay? It's like kind of fifty fifty. Either you you know you get it right or you get it wrong, and uh we don't really like to have fifty fifty in trading. We like to have a uh, itch you know, a higher probability of uh, one thing happening over the other when it comes to trading. Okay, so anyway, uh, back to the slides. Okay, so what is the Forex Economic Calendar? Okay, it's a great indicator for fundamental analysis and news trading. Okay, uh, in fact, in our course, or if you've been following us for some time, you know that we always integrate fundamental analysis and technical analysis together. Okay, uh, you know, there's always this big debate about whether you should use fundamental or technical. Okay, and our answer has always been the same. Okay, we don't use either or, we use both. Okay, I mean, there's no reason why you should be choosing either or when you can choose both, right? Um, fundamental and technical analysis is not mutually exclusive, right? You can use both together. Okay, in fact, if you are not using both together, right, you're actually missing a very important uh, piece of the puzzle. Okay, so if you're not sure how we use it, uh, we, we do cover that in our course. Uh, yep, so definitely check it out. Okay, but uh, if you are into trading the news event, of, right, then all the more you should be looking at the Forex Economic Calendar because you will know which events uh, are events that you want to be trading. So for example, uh, we just look at this. Uh, you want to be focusing on the high impact events because uh, high impact means that uh, 
the market is likely to move significantly. So what you have is a volatility, right? The volatility and with volatility comes trading opportunity, right? Just think about it this way, okay? You can only make money if the market moves, okay? It's that simple. If the market is uh, stuck in a consolidation or is very narrow in narrow range, then there's really no opportunity for you to make money, okay? But normally after the uh, high impact news is released, right? Uh, the market tends to move a lot, okay? So that's where uh, you can actually do some news trading, okay? Maybe in subsequent videos, we'll talk more about how do you trade the news, but for now, uh, let's move on, okay? So uh, we want to make this video practical for you because we want to give you actionable things that you can do. So first of all, head over to forexfactory.com, okay? It's actually www.forexfactory dot com and sign up for account okay over here just click join okay uh just put your username your password pretty pretty basic stuff not gonna go through that okay so one thing that you want to do is you want to set up the time that you always be look so that you always be looking at the correct uh timing okay because this uh timing here this current timing is synchronized to uh, my browser timing sometimes they get it wrong so when you have already created the account just click on this timing over here and uh, adjust it so uh we are basically based in singapore but if for you you are based in let's say uh tokyo then you just change it okay so make sure that uh whether that's daylight saving dsd stands for daylight saving uh and look to make sure that uh, this synchronized time is actually the current time in, in the country that you are at right now, okay? So make sure you change this. Uh, the last thing you want to happen is that you don't see this, synchronize this properly and you know, you expect the news to be 8.30 a.m. but actually it's uh, you know, at maybe 10, 10 a.m. your timing. But because you didn't change the, uh, you know, you didn't change the time, time zone, then uh, you kind of got, got it wrong. Okay, you don't want to lose money just because of this. Okay, so anyway, um, back to the thing, uh, back to the PowerPoint. Okay, uh, you just set this up once and uh, the, every time you visit this uh, time zone, right? Uh, uh, sorry, not time zone. Every time you visit this site, uh, it will automatically show you the correct timing. Okay, so now we are going to talk about uh, the, the, the color impact and how do you really use it. Okay, so if you come over here, there is uh, the, the impact and the currency. Okay, so um, if you ever forget uh, what these colors mean, uh, just scroll down below over here and you have the high impact, medium impact, and low impact. Okay, so uh, as we said over here, we want to be focusing only on high impact news, okay, because that's where uh, price will move the most. Okay, another quick tip that we want to share be before we conclude this video is that um, you, if you want to filter out your uh, the, the kind of uh, news that you you want to focus on you can just click on this filter and you just select uh, whichever okay for us personally we just focus on the high impact news as uh, we said so we'll just uncheck this uh, medium low and this one is just like a uh, bank holiday okay like non-news event see non-economic event okay and we just apply filter so that we have the uh, you know we have the uh, just the high impact news Okay, so I think that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, please comment down below. We'll address them. Uh, if you are not using this calendar, please, please, please use it, okay? Because uh, it's really, really very important, okay? We've been trading for 15 years and we keep telling you that the Forex calendar is uh, one of the most important thing that you can focus on, okay? You can forget about, you know, uh, strategies. You can forget about, you know, chasing after like, indicators but this is one thing that you cannot miss out on that you cannot you cannot just like ignore okay you can ignore bollinger bands you can ignore you know moving averages but the calendar is something that you don't want to be uh, ignoring okay so take it from us make sure you check it every single week okay at least once a week like today is actually a sunday okay check it uh, so that you know you know what's happening for the week. And as, as the week trading week progresses, maybe on Tuesday, Wednesday, always check the calendar at the beginning of the trading day, right? For us, we always check in the morning to remind us ourselves what events to actually focus on, okay? So that's about it for this video. We'll see you in our next video.